Hello everyone. As we know, there are many reasons why a couple fails to conceive or is unable to give birth. And poor air quality is one of those factors. Poor air quality has become a major factor for infertility in today's scenario. So let's talk about poor air quality today and what are the solutions we have for it. And if you have any queries regarding this, do write them in comment section and I'll reply to all your queries. I am Dr. Ashita Jain, Fertility Expert, Bhavishit Fertility Institute. As we all know, a woman is born with a fixed number of eggs in their ovaries, whereas men on other hand keep on producing sperms till late in their lives. A female have approximately four leg eggs at the time of puberty and she keeps on using it on the daily basis till the eggs are exhausted and she achieves a menopause and then technically she's unable to conceive. Women have a fertile period which is from the menarche that is when she starts menstruating up to the menopause. And during this fertile period, she keeps on producing the eggs and keeps on menstruating. But in this fertile period, there are the years that is from menarche to up to an age of 16 to 17 years. And then late in the menstrual life, that is from 42 to 43 years to up to 48 years, these females menstruate. But the eggs that they are producing are not of that quality by which they can achieve pregnancy. So there is this concept that having only egg is not sufficient to achieve a pregnancy. It should be a healthy egg and by healthy egg we mean it should be genetically and functionally healthy. Not all eggs are genetically and functionally healthy and it has been proved by doing biopsies on the eggs. So some females have a larger proportion of good quality eggs and they have a longer fertile period whereas other on the, others on the other hand have lesser proportion of good quality eggs and they are not so fertile. Another thing is the age have a direct correlation with the number of eggs produced and it also has a direct correlation with the quality of the eggs produced. So the females who are in their late 30s or 40s will not be having a good quality eggs as compared to the females who are in their 20s or early 30s. So by and large, age forms a very important factor as far as the fertility potential of a female is considered. So, when it comes to fertility, do consider your age first and take your steps accordingly. Now, let's see what are the signs and symptoms of a poor quality egg. A woman have a cyclical activity and that is known as the menstrual cycle. Women every month, produces an egg every 14 day in every cycle and this egg in turn produces certain hormones which helps in the development of the internal lining of the uterus which is known as the endometrial lining. When this egg is not fertilized by the sperm or pregnancy is not achieved, in these cases this endometrial lining is shed off. So, a female produces the egg every month and thus she has a menstrual cycle every month and this might be an indicator that she is having a good quality eggs as she is menstruating regularly. So the women with a poor quality of eggs might have irregular menstrual cycles that is the cycles might be of shorter intervals or longer durations. They might have scanty menses or have very heavy menses. So this might give us an indication that these females might have a poor quality eggs, but it need to be confirmed on the 
sonography and by the hormonal test. So by and large, the menstrual cycle of a female can give us an indication of the quality of the eggs. Then comes what are the solutions we have for a poor quality. The quality of egg cannot be determined as we cannot see them with the naked eye. We come to know of the quality of egg only when we retrieve the eggs with the help of an IVF and see them under the microscope. Then only we first come to know that the egg is of poor quality. And in certain cases, even in the microscope, the egg looks of good quality. But when a genetic test is performed, then we come to know the quality of the egg is very poor. So generally the females who are younger might have a good quality of eggs than the females who are of the older age group and they might have a poor quality of eggs. So something that is very tricky to detect will be very difficult to treat also. So by and large, the egg quality or the healthy egg might indicate a healthy body. So if you might be having any diseases like diabetes, thyroid disorders or obesity, this might compromise the quality of egg. So treating these causes might correct the quality of egg. Generally, we prescribe the antioxidants, lifestyle modification, reduction in the BMI, which will help in improving the quality of the egg. But if the quality of the egg is poor due to the age or due to the genetic cause, then it is unable to treat this cause. So, in this case, you need to accept the fact and you need to go with the treatment options available. So, the, if the poor quality is due to any of the underlying diseases, it can be corrected by correcting the disease. But, if it is due to the age or genetic, then it is unable to correct. And in this, you have to accept it. And in certain cases, donor egg might be an option too. This is how a poor quality egg might affect the fertility of a woman. So, if your age is more or you are experiencing any of the symptoms as I explained, that is, if you are having irregular menstruation, do consult your doctor so that you don't get late in achieving your dreams of becoming a parent. And still, if you have queries, do write them in the comment section and I'll reply to all your queries. Thank you.